We are one of the top universities in the country, a uh, big university. Uh, we have uh, 54,000 students, uh, 10,000 are graduate students for master and PhD degrees. <coughs> And we have a very, uh, uh, very good experience in relationship with companies. Uh, at this moment, we have a dozen of global uh, iconic companies establishing their research center in our, in our campus. Companies like Siemens, like Schlumberger, like Halliburton, like General Electric. This is a very special uh, moment in Brazil and especially in Rio. We have opportunities for startups, we have opportunities for large companies, we have opportunities in different areas. My, the, the Science Park of the Federal University of Rio is uh, focused in energy, environmental aspects, and also IT. Uh, we have a dozen of big global companies that are at this moment establishing their research centers in, 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 our, in our park. So this is a, a magic uh, moment for the city uh, of Rio. Uh, I do believe that we are creating in Rio this ecosystem that uh, was, wasn't easy to be replicated uh, all around. So we are uh, bringing some tech talents to, to Rio and trying to foment this uh, startup technology uh, market. And I don't believe have, have uh, any other place uh, besides here to, to foment that. And we are on the right way to see the, the last big startups are, are born in Rio. I'm very happy. Like, uh, I don't believe in any other place in the world we could do uh, what we did with Hotel Ban in under six, 18 months. We become the number one OTA player, and I thanks Rio to that. So I'm, I think we are on the eye of the hurricane. <laughs> I think we got uh, two very clear messages. One is obviously the size of the rising middle class. I mean, we heard that obviously uh, rising incomes lead to rising middle class and they are going to buy lots of electronic equipment. So that's very exciting. And the other, of course, is the big investment in oil and gas by Petrobras, you know, something like 200 odd billion over the next four to five years. That's going to be very exciting because that will flow down through to the rest of the economy and of course international investors will be very keen to take advantage of that. Very proud to uh, be resp managing a group that to make other companies great. Because I believe that we have to have a lot of case, win cases, uh, to prove that it is risky, of course, uh, having a, a startup business, but we can succeed. Uh, you can see two examples here. There are many other examples in Brazil uh, that I can uh, say that it's Rio is facing a, is a magical moment. Brazil is facing a magical moment in terms of the opportunities. And I, I, I strongly believe that working together with the private sector, the public sector, and the academia, we can bring a lot of opportunities to all of uh, There are a lot of startup companies being developed in Brazil. I believe that is the right place to be, the right moment, and then we can address a lot of needs for the society. We have a really interesting marketing, not only B2C, but also B2B, especially in the commodities. Number two, we have a really passion for entrepreneurship, and this is being reflected on the high demand for new students become a new, the owners of new ventures. Number three, because of all the institutions about Brazil, it, Brazil is the only real democracy with uh, law, freedoms, financial system, already in place among all BRICS countries. And so we, we definitely we see a great opportunity on that. We have the infrastructure. The infrastructure in Brazil means not only a physical location, but also it has a, a special connectivity around, around the place. What I've heard today has actually encouraged me that, you know, it is a, a, a gap in the market and uh, hopefully my, my solution would, uh, would, be, would be welcome to uh, the Brazilian entrepreneurs that are, are looking to expand internationally.